Are you playing Minecraft 1.20.1 and your game looks like this? Do you want your game to look something more like this? Well, my friend, you have come to the right place because I'm going to teach you how to download and install shaders for Minecraft 1.20.1 and how to fix any issues you might have along the way. And also the amazing thing is that you could actually disable the shaders whenever you want just with the click of a button. And also you could activate them again just by pressing the same button just like this. So yeah, make sure you watch this video until the end and let's get started with the guy. It's crazy that I just made this video like five days ago for Minecraft 1.20 and I have to remake it now because Minecraft 1.20.1 just came out. And also forgive my face because I literally just woke up from a nap. But don't worry because yes, I'm tired, but I'm going to make this guide as perfect as I can. So the first thing that we want to do in order to add shaders to Minecraft is download Iris. Iris is kind of a shader loader and you're going to need some type of shader loader. Usually I use either Iris or Optifine, but Optifine is still not updated to 1.20.1 because this was all pretty, pretty fast. As a matter of fact, Optifine is still in pre-release for 1.20, so we're gonna have to wait a couple weeks before we get Optifine 1.20.1. So like I said, we're gonna download Iris. For that, go ahead and click on the second link in the description, which will bring you to, of course, our reading guide on how to download and install Iris. Now, once you're over here, all you have to do is to scroll down until you see this button that says download Iris here. However, you are welcome to read through the guide and look at the photos if that helps you. But for those of you that just wanna follow along, just go ahead and scroll down and click where it says download Iris here. That is going to redirect you to the Iris website where you're going to click download now. That is going to redirect you over here where you're going to click download universal jar. That is going to start the download automatically for Iris. In my case, it's asking me where I want to save the file, but for you, it's just probably going to download automatically. Once you downloaded the file, go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop. I'm going to minimize my browser. And if you're using Chrome, the updated version, you'll probably find it here on the top right. If you're using the older version of Chrome, it'll be here on the bottom left. Whatever the case might be, just go ahead and drag and drop Iris to the desktop. Now your Iris installer should look something like this. Now, obviously we're downloading shaders, so we are gonna need some shaders. And right now, one of my favorite shaders for all Minecraft updates is Complement here Reimagine. So if you wanna follow along this video and download the same shaders that I'm gonna be using, which are the shaders that you saw in the intro, go ahead and click on the third link in the description, which is this guide on how to download and install Complement here Reimagine. Now, if you look at these shaders, they're amazing. So yeah, I recommend you download the same shaders as me. If you want to do so, just go ahead and click on that third link and scroll down until you see this step one, how to download complementary reimagine and click on the download button. That is going to redirect you over here where, as if you're looking here, we already have any MC version. OK, and then it says 1.20.1. So we already have the updated 1.20.1 version for the shaders. So that is great. That is a great thing to hear because that means we're going to get to download the most updated shaders for 1.20.1. So once you're over here in the file stuff for complementary reimagine, go ahead and click on this little three dots next to 1.20.1 and then click download file. That is going to redirect you over here where in five seconds, the download will start automatically. And all you have to do is wait five seconds. Do not click anything. And after five seconds, as you can see, the download starts again. It always asks me where I want to save the file, but for you, it's just probably going to download. Once you downloaded your file, go ahead and drag and drop it to your desktop. And now we have Iris and we have complementary reimagine. Now, the next step before we install Iris is actually to launch your Minecraft launcher. Once your Minecraft launcher is open, make sure that down here you have selected the latest release. As you can see right now, I have Forge 1.20. So all you have to do is change it to 1.20.1 latest release, just vanilla. Make sure you don't launch Forge or Optifine or anything like that. Just vanilla latest release 1.20.1 one and then click on play to create an instance of this game mode all you have to do is click on play and then close the game again so i'm going to show you what to do and once you open minecraft vanilla 1.20.1 just go ahead and quit the game and now make sure that your game and your launcher are closed in order to install the iris installer now all you have to do is double click the iris installer to open it now once you double click the iris installer if you don't get this little sign in here that i'm getting that might be due to the fact that you have an outdated version of java in order to install Iris 1.20.1, we're going to need to have Java 17. Java is a software that allows Minecraft to run. And if you don't have an updated version of Java, I'm going to leave this guide in the description, which is going to be the fourth link on how to download and install Java 17. Like I said, it is required for Iris 1.20.1. So if this doesn't open for you, that might be because you have an outdated version. Now, this guide is pretty straightforward. It's pretty much go to the website of Java, download Java, open Java, click next, next, and then just close it. It's super, super simple to install Java. And I'm also going to leave you a guide on how to run a jar fix. Running a jar fix, what it does is that after you install Java, it pretty much updates your jar files like this one right here. It updates your jar files to match your newer Java version. So pretty much that's all it does. You install Java, then you run a jar fix to make sure that all your jar files are connected to the Java version and then you're ready to go. So I'm going to leave both of those links. Actually, the jar fix is going to be the fifth link in case you're having troubles launching the installer. Now, I know I'm going to get some comments of people saying I try to launch my installer and it just opens a website and notepads. It doesn't open anything. Whatever the case might be, just update Java to Java 17 and run your jar fix. Now, 
After you have done that, hopefully you found this screen just like I did. And all you have to do in here, guys, is click install. As you can see, we already have 1.20.1 selected. If that's not the case, you could always change it to 1.20.1 and then click install. Now, while Iris is installing in the background, I do have to let you know about today's sponsor, Apex Hosting. If you are looking for a Minecraft server where you can play with your friends 24 seven without compromising your own computer or your IP address or anything really, this is a server for you. Apex Hosting provides you with a web hosting service where they can create either a Java, a Bedrock or whatever type of Minecraft server you want so you can play with your friends at any moment. Now, Apex Hosting has a lot of advantages like the ones you can see here, but there's specifically two amazing things about Apex Hosting that I love. The first one is that you could access the server console through your phone so you don't even have to be at home to control your server you could be at walmart and you could kick people out of the server you could change the time the settings whatever you want to do regarding your server and the second amazing thing is that for those of you that use the first link in the description to create your first server with apex hosting you get 25 percent off and that's amazing 25 percent off is an offer i wish was around when i created my server with apex hosting now let's get back to the tutorial and as we can see iris has already installed all we have to do now is close the installer and we could even delete the iris installer now all we have to do is open our minecraft launcher now we should see iris and sodium automatically selected here on the bottom left if that's not the case for you you could always go to installations and make sure that modded is selected as you can see if modded is not selected you might not see iris automatically selected just go ahead and click modded and then you'll see iris and sodium but i'm pretty sure most of you are going to have iris and sodium already here selected so now go ahead and launch iris and sodium by clicking play click that you understand and then click play and just wait for the game to open once your game has opened as you can see it says minecraft 1.20.1 fabric modded that's a good indicator that we are playing the iris version however let's learn how to add the shaders to minecraft all you have to do is go ahead and launch a world it could be single player or multiplayer it doesn't matter i'm gonna launch a single player because i already have a world created for this so as you can see our world already loaded and we have the ugly minecraft shaders so now let's add our shaders if you press escape and you go to options you will see a setting called video settings go ahead and open the video settings and then you will see that this looks completely different. If you make it full screen, you will see that there is an option called shader packs. Go ahead and click on shader packs. Now you should see this new menu in here that lets you add shaders. What we're gonna do next in order to add the shaders we downloaded is click where it says open pack folder. That is going to open this folder that for you is probably empty, but for me it has complementary reimagined, but I went ahead and deleted it because for you it's just probably empty. So what you're gonna do in here is just drag and drop the shaders we downloaded earlier. Just go ahead and select complementary reimagined. We downloaded that on the second step and then drag and drop it into this folder. Now complementary reimagined should appear within your game, within the options in here. Go ahead and click on that, click apply, and just give it a second so it could load. And there we go. Now we have shaders on the back. Make sure that shaders are enabled because as you can see, you can disable them. So make sure they are enabled and then go back to the game. And yeah, look at this. Now you have shaders in Minecraft 1.20.1. They are very, very nice shaders. And if you are playing and for some reason you wanted to disable your shaders, all you have to do is press K and your shaders go away. And if you want to enable them again, just press K again. And also you could access the shaders menu if you press O. As you can see, we press O, we actually get access to this shaders menu. So that's pretty useful. And yeah, that's pretty much guys how to download and install shaders for Minecraft 1.20.1. We will also be making this guide with Optifine once Optifine comes out. So yeah, make sure you stay tuned. And as always, bye bye.